the CIA sent him deep undercover to spy on Islamic radicals. It cost him everything. Rolling Stone A deep cover CIA officer spent years underground trying to infiltrate Al-Qaeda. But an investigation into his life, work, and death reveals mystery, moral quagmires, and the secret toll of the war on terror. Below are your comments. All that discipline and dedication should have been acknowledged on some level, the knowledge cha. Knee led into something else, something uplifting, brighter. Poor lost soul, may he rest in peace. Things like that happen all the time, every day. I found one part of this article interesting, to the former official, the operative behaved as if he just stepped out into the harsh summer sun, blinking and woozy, from inside a pitch black movie the Ader, zero, 00. It was like he was seeing the light of day, for the first time in a long while, this person recalls. Reminded me of the day I got out of Supermax prison in Baltimore. Zero, 00. I had basically been locked in a cell for six months with very little light. A woman came to my cell, told me I'd be released that day. You hear stuff like that all the time, I didn't believe her. Sure enough, around lunchtime, I was cuffed and ankle chains put on. Two cops put me in the back of a Car, took me to a Rosedale bus stop, took the cuffs and chains off, jumped back in the car, and drove. They away. I had 82 cents in my pocket, and the bright sunshine hurt my eyes. I had a relative that lived maybe 40 or 50 miles away, she came and picked me up, I got a Big Mac. I've had a tiny bit of contact with the CIA, those guys are expendable, they volunteer for those Ms. Science. It's about as itty job as you can get. There are things that are far more scary than prison or dying. No one cares about them, but their family and friends. CIA. Marines. Navy. You're a piece of equipment or machinery. And there's always a replacement part. May he rest in peace. You would think that these undercover CIA operative would be protected to the highest degree, insta. Add they are denied their very existence. Reminds me of something a former Air Force pilot told me years ago. His words, we were flying secret missions over Korea five years before the Korean War. Before every mission we were reminded that our government would deny our existence if we were shot d. own. Incredible personal sacrifice to do a job none of us can truly comprehend. This isn't TV, it isn't Homeland, it's real FN life. I hope he somehow kept us safer and saved lives without us even knowing about it. RIP, SIR. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.